Hello everybody, welcome to LT Gaming. My name is Tom and today we are taking a look at Aratus, Lord of the Dead, which is a game I was given the key to. Um, so I'm going to do some first impressions here today. Um, I did play through um, the tutorial because I didn't want you know the video to just be me doing the tutorial, which I think is kind of boring. And then I can kind of go on to pass the cakewalk difficulty and actually play with some real challenge on the more pain mode. So let's start and begin. So here is Mr. Aratus himself. Um, and here are my beginning minions. I have a Bride of Aratus, a skeleton, a zombie, and a dark knight. Now, this game has a lot of kind of depth to it, I feel. I'm just going to turn down uh, Master Sound a touch. I feel that was quite deafening. So, in the creation, we have uh, different minions we can create. Um, and there seems to be like kind of different strategies around all of them. Um, I'll create a werewolf here. You for will bring me their heads, their hearts, and everything else. All right, beautiful. Um, and then you also have the artifacts where you can. Oh, I started with Undertaker's clothes. All right, beautiful. I'll put that on. Extra experience. We have the graveyard where we can start to build buildings which will give different effects. Um, so the library, for example, you use a Dark Knight. I'll pop him in. And I'll get uh, 32 experience and 8% uh, from the current level. So I'll... Now he is going to be in there. It's akin to trying to quell hunger with breadcrumbs. All right, fair enough. Thank you very much, Aratus. We have the talents um, where we can spend uh, the experience we earn to uh, kind of get different. Um, Rivers hmm. will run red. Like so let's jump into the game itself. Uh, and we've got alchemy as well, where we can create different um, traps, uh, artifacts, stuff like this. Um, there's different types where you do extraction distillation um and they're all related to different aspects of the game so the graveyard is your kind of town creation is your minions artifacts obviously your personal artifacts alchemy different various items and then talents is what you assign your experience and skill points to and then we have the dungeon and so as you can see here they they dug deep and they probably regret it now and you have this awesome randomly generated pathway to kind of escape this uh this subterranean maze and we'll begin with a first fight and give this a little look so i've got my peeps i got a werewolf i've never used a werewolf before so let's have a quick look at all right hunting down that's pretty decent damage deals 25 percent all right the physical attack is decent hmm but I'll, I'll use this hunting gang oh miss well that's terrible we'll do the old chest piercer And I'll do the show them their place, which allows them to move forward. Wow, right, this fight is not going so well right now. Magic attack. All right, we'll, we'll go with the volley. I want to kill this guy before he gets strike off so I'll use that become part of the breathless tide the hunting down I really am enjoying this game um, there's something inherently fun 
about being the baddies. And in this one, you most definitely are the baddies. Uh, unassuming strike. I'll do the old volley. One more for the stockpiles. Now, obviously, the game does bear recognition to another very well-known game, Darkest Dungeon. Um, but I don't want to kind of do it the disservice of only comparing it to that. Um, begin the next action, blah, blah. I will just use the swing. But it undoubtedly has similarities to it. But I will try to look at it in its own light and way. And it's a lot of fun, I must say. Um, I really enjoy a lot of the mechanics you have. It is... <laughs> you know, you can focus on building your minions. You could focus on building Aratus himself. Um, so, for example, there, I think I leveled... I got a talent, which is beautiful. Um... And I will focus on. Hmm. I'll go with Wrath I Unchained. I embrace this fury. To boost my minions and their power. Um, the leveling of the minions is really cool, so I'll try to level one as soon as possible. But I don't like my configuration very much. So let's go to the creation screen. Pop the skeleton at the front. So actually have a look at so the werewolf's very physical a lot of his abilities are alright so he has some very powerful attacks but a bit of build up required the zombie I also didn't use him in my last run All right, so th there's something interesting here. So I won't create anyone. I'll stick with it, this little crew I got here. And I think the Bride of Aratus is pretty ranged focus. Yes, so I'll stick with that. Um, there's nothing else to do, I believe. Um, this guy is taken up there, so he's of no use. So let's just head back to the dungeon. We have a soul spring. Beautiful. And we've got Digger Souls. And Digger Souls are kind of like a currency that you use to do pretty much everything in the game. Um, I go to the graveyard. Every next minion. So I would need a Wraith for this. So I will create a Wraith. Bill. An unassuming creation. Craft. Perhaps the warnings were just superstitions. And we will build. I'll slot him in. A cold edge stone of the obelisk. All right, beautiful. With the power so we, our town is starting to come together. Deposit. Many ancient monuments were built for exactly this purpose. Just need Aratus to chill out a bit. Um, so we're going to have to do a battle next. Uh, if I look. Oops, a daisy. If I look at the path ahead. Um, I think the healing fountain of restoration is probably better. So I'll go to this battle and then... Oh, I probably don't need to heal this early. Okay. So you do need to build Wrath down the bottom uh, for the more powerful attacks. So I will try to use Hunting Down. Beautiful. And you see I generated seven wrath there. I look around my mic. Alright, the old chest piercer. Uh, um. Hmm. What's this guy got? It's some um, whip, so his accuracy is increased by 20%. Right, I will buff myself. Thinking of she's thinking of me. Okay. Uh, we'll just start damaging this frontline troop. Alright, okay. I'll 
old zombies taking a bit of a beating. Alright, so this is a stance. So I do I cast this to myself. Oh, damn. And apparently I will go a bit crazy next turn and bombard everyone. Alright, so I will go for this dude. I don't want to kill him off. Alright. Not having the best of luck right now. Beautiful. And that didn't use my turn up. But I'll just bombard again, I think. That's a very nice attack. Oh my god, these guys are really amping it up. Ah, there we go. We got the kill, boys. Mm -mm -mm. I'll do the hunting down. No, I'll do the physical. I need to... Oh, what was that? Shield banger. Smite. This seems like... What I should do. Wow. Did not kill. Luckily, we did hit them all. Of life. The special attack that used my wrath. Hmm. He took me out of my stance with a stun. So that sucks. Tear up. Right, we'll just use swing. Keep it simple. The breadth of attacks and the different variety of attacks I do like, and I like the fact you can do physical or stress damage. Uh, right now I'm very physical based. Ooh, that was a critical. And that was beautiful. As your suffering ends, your service. All right, we got a brain as well, and I'll show you how these work. Um. All right, our graveyard's generating a lot of resources, but our people have leveled. So what this means is you can click on uh, their their IQ has gone up one, and they have some stats that you can now distribute. So a logical one, I think, for uh, the bride will be to up her attack if she does a lot of physical damage. The zombie. Um, mm. It's the bombardment. It's very it's physical based, right? So I can't. These cost more, uh, so I don't have enough stat points to level them. Um, I mean, maybe I'll up his initiative because he uses that bombard. So the more moves he has, the better. That makes sense, right? Oh, he still has a stat to do, though. Um, and I'll just up his evasion. Evasion's always good. Well, still more stats. Oh! What's it telling me here? Ah, no, he's fully leveled. I've used everything. Um, werewolf. Mr. Werewolf. Feel like... You should be a little bit more tanky, but I'll actually up your evasion then. And the skeleton, nice and easy, will up his damage. Now, we did get this brain thing, um, but I think I'm going to create someone new. I think I'll create a Dark Knight. 
I really like this. Hardly in the other inspiring place. leader, but the dead care not for morale. So I'm going to pop him in instead of the werewolf. Um, and I'm going to give him this brain, which immediately brings him to level three. So he's now one up on the other guys. Um, and I want to make him very tanky. So I'm going to give him lots of armor. Um, and he also can now level an ability as he's gone one more level up. I think every third level you get an ability point for your creatures. So I'll use this one as it synergizes with having high armor. And I... No, no I can't. I was wondering if I could equip him with armor, but I cannot. Um, I'm still very new to this game as well. Um, and then we'll go to the dungeon. I'll sub this guy in. Because this guy doesn't need healing. And I'll heal everyone here. And I'll go like this. And we'll go back. And now we've got a fight with our new dude, Battle Squad 1. Our new Dark Knight that we've recently created. The difficulty has definitely jumped a lot since the tutorial, which you would expect. Um, Alright, let's try to pick off some soft targets. Death comes for everyone. What a inspiring... Sparring little speech. Alright. But I would still say the difficulty, if we compare it to um, other games, <laughs> or won't name which ones, um, it's not as difficult. A bit more maybe arcadey uh, in relation to that. But I must say, I really do enjoy this game. All right, this guy's armor. This attack ignores armor, so that's great. Let's use the old chest piercer to bring this down. Voided its bowels just as a die. What a beautiful sentiment. All right, let's go bombardment. I do have a debuff. Uh, you know what? I'll use it. I do have mana as well for spells, but I haven't taken any yet. Um, let's go with this attack as it ignores armor. This guy's all about armor. Rose for a lady. Your frail bodies fail you. All right. This guy is buffed, so he will get three attacks, right? According to this. Fantastic. Now, this is why I love the Dark Knight. They barely take any damage. When you had to hit zombie, you missed. Alright, this guy's an attack after this dude, so let's take him out. And that is the skelly doing his perfect hit. And now this guy is going to get really fucked up. Use the chest piercer. And hopefully... There's not enough damage. Alright, well I'll use the cannonball. Special attack to make sure we don't take another hit. 
a predictable outcome. Beautiful. And everyone is leveled again now. And so, as it's the third level, not only do we get a stats boost, we also will get a... Uh, I'll just uh, give him a bit of armor. We also get an ability point. Um, hmm. I'm in the second position, so... Get back to battle. I'll give him this one because a lot of enemies start to use block as you uh, level up. Or go go higher. Um, I think I'll hold off uh, as I want to wait to up his damage. So I'll keep his stats there. Um, so this one boosts the damage of environment. And this one, so I like this. There's two forks uh, for the abilities, so you can start to get more stats um, from each one. See, so there's like a stat value attached, and you can do different builds basically. So it adds a great variety to the game. Um, uh, where is the bombardment? I think I'll make this a magical attack. My time. enemies are in for no a way. nasty surprise. Actually didn't want to do that, but okay. Never mind. It is what it is. And the old bride. I'm using this a lot. Um... This costs a lot more to level, I guess. Um... Do, 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 do. I'll take the Heart Piercer special. And we'll go and test out our new abilities. Ancient Coffin filled with items. Okay, so different items, different pathways. Um, planning ahead is... Always difficult. Alright, so we're going to this. I don't actually know what this one does. Who will be trained? Aratus? Or the minions? We'll take Aratus. Alright, so I should have some talent. I do. I do have uh, some talents to spend. Um, for the sake of fun... <laughs> Um, we will, there's 25 damage. All right, we'll, we'll take the cursed Ooh, doll. This will do nicely. Um, I still have two talent points left. Through transformation, the will becomes free. A power for All right, two spells times. and a bit of alchemy. Sounds good. And we will, again, take our battle squad in. All right, they're already whipping themselves. All right, they don't have armor. So we'll just straight up attack. Let's try a spell as well. Dance. Move those mortals. All right. And that's dude number one gone. A chest piercer. Hopefully we get a critical. But he has block. Wow. Barely taking damage with the death knight. Um... And we're gonna not bombardment anymore. It's called shock charges. This dude's just whipping his guys. Ooh, taking quite some damage here. 
Let's use the special. Your frail bodies fail you. Protect me, crap. Oh no, Skelly. Skelly is looking a little uh, frail. Oh, Death Knight is. Ooh, no. Not Skelly. Fuck you. Okay, that's good. One left. Magical attack. Uh, if he'd hit the skeleton, he would have killed him, but he didn't. And I believe this is GG. So it's already getting Another challenging. Step towards my eternal kingdom. And we did get a grappling hook, which is amazing. And I believe that is like an item for that I can equip. Or the selected minion. Ah, so yeah, I got some different buffs I can use. There we go. Oh, wow, these are cool. Anyway, um, I think that's enough for a first impressions. I would say this game is right up my alley. Um, and from what I've played of it so far, I'm very into it. Um, the It seems like it's going to have longevity and replayability because of the kind of RNG of the maps and the variety of minions, which I need to unlock loads of them. So I'm going to be really excited, especially uh, the Bone Golem. I really wanted to use this guy. He looks cool. But uh, yeah, so if you guys are enjoying it, let me know um, and let me know your thoughts in the comments of how it compares to its peers like Darkest Dungeon. And uh, thank you for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.